What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Pixel Effect. You know, Dark Visor here, and I just wanted to go through this real quick. Um, an interesting turn of events that I found out that um, Sonic Sonic's um, multimedia team, or basically their Facebook and Twitch, released a new comic today that sort of ties into Sonic Forces called The Moment of Truth. It's a decent little comic, you know. Um, a lot of people are hating, hating on it because a hero is one of those shonen manga characters that like doubts themselves a whole lot but comes through in the end to save the day. You know, if you're used to mangas like Naruto or Bleach, you'll like it, I think. If you want to be nitpicky about everything Sonic Forces, you, you, you won't like it, you know. Just stop looking at the game and go play something else. Go play Sonic Mania and leave Sonic Forces be. But anyway, if you open up the file that came with the comic, you actually find images of future issues, I believe. You know, as you see here, uh, one of the first images you find if you hide all the other filters in a, in a Photoshop document is, I believe this may have been a separate cover for the issue we got today. You know, I think this may have been the first draft and they changed it. So. That's an interesting little find. Um, like I said, we're going through. I just gotta wait till it gets to the next part. Because, like I said, there are several images hidden in this file. You know. And I've also had people, like, hating on it. Because the hero, you know. Uh, they feel he's too much of a whiner, you know. they. I, I guess people want him to come out being, you know, some hero that can do everything. You know, they're like, well, I don't know why they wrote it. Like, he's always doubting himself, you know. Because in the comic, he, he's constantly saying, I'm a failure, you know, I can't do anything right, you know, he's messing up. I'm like, that's typical storytelling, you know. All stories do that. I don't know who the heck you think you are. If you think you're perfect at everything in life, like, you never mess up, you know. Get off that high horse, seriously, you know. Another image we see um, that I'm pretty sure a future issue will deal with is Shadow. We see here Shadow, we see Omega. And we see Mephiles in the background right there. Now, what Mephiles is doing, we have no idea. But I believe this also ties into the Shadow DLC. Because they said Shadow is the one that's going to figure out basically why Infinite is the villain, I believe. You know, they said his Shadow story is going to tie into the very beginning of the game. So this comment may give us more of a headway of why this is going on with Infinite and what he really wants, you know. And seeing Omega again is always a treat, you know. I like him, you know. He was cool in Sonic 06, honestly. You know, when he blasted Nephilus. That was pretty sweet. So, and the next image we have here. This is a little harder. We see Knuckles. We see Silver. But I'm not sure who that is on the ground. Now, what I can tell from this image, it looks like water. So more than likely what this is, is chaos. And either he's knocked somebody out. Or that's him on the ground but what's being formed if you look that's the master master emerald you can kind of see along the edges of that spear at the bottom it looks like an emerald and it looks like water coming out of it so it looks like this is what sets off Mephiles I mean not Mephiles sorry chaos again so it looks like chaos is coming out in this image um, it may explain why he's angry again maybe somebody kicked the child we don't know have to wait to see but I've always liked um, chaos I like the fighters perfect form again but I doubt we'll get to um, a surprise image we have here is infinite without his mask it looks like this looks like a fox character I want to say with some long flowy hair he has a sword pretty cool um, some people are making fun of it saying you know because in his song he's the sharpest of blades you know I understand some, some Sonic fans are so butthurt over Sonic Forces being made and they think Sonic Mania is on this giant gold pedestal that everything Forces related they gotta make fun of, you know? So what if his song says Sharp vs. Blades, you know? He looks cool, I like his sword, I'm looking forward to it, you know? Then we have Eggman here and more than likely what he's holding is the Phantom Ruby. Now, something else we don't know is did Eggman make the Phantom Ruby? Or did he just find it? Because you know in his story trailer he says, you know, 
this is pretty much all my work put into this one thing right here, which is infinite. You know, he basically powers up infinite. So I'm interested to see if Eggman made this or if he found it. You know, I'm also interested to see if we'll destroy it or if he'll keep it, you know, and use it in the future to do things. Or will it just disappear again and come back one day? Those are all questions we'll hopefully get in the next few weeks because there's going to be a comic release each week, you know. And I'll put a link in the description to where this comic is at so you can read it. And you can go to these files too. I'll put it on the description. And honestly, you could you could splice those two pictures together with the files and you get this image. Now, if you use the last two images that just came up, it's a little it's not as clean as this. They're a little unbalanced. But this is basically the image it forms if you put them both together. Um, this was also a file in Photoshop that I found, you know. So it looks pretty sweet. And like I said, I'm pretty sure Eggman uses the Phantom Ruby to alter Infinite. So I'm interested. I'm excited for Sonic Forces. Regardless if it gets a 6 or a 7, I'm looking forward to it, you know. I know there are other fans out there that are as well. And so, come November, I'm gonna be on it every day, you know. You know, so it'll be pretty sweet. But I'll get the comic up too, and I'll get a link in the description. But until next time, guys, I'll see you. Okay, I get out of here for tonight.